Mr. President, this concludes the honors. President Alfonso, it is an honor today to welcome you to the United States. It was 26 years ago when the last Argentine president came to Washington on a state visit. Your country was the first on the continent to ban slavery. This was no mere coincidence, Mr. President. Our forefathers here and in your country shared the challenge of turning a wilderness into a modern nation. Today, we continue to share the challenge of maintaining the economic growth and development so vital to the well-being of our peoples, keeping a national economy of certainty. Inflation and economic decline sapped our strength, but we challenged our efforts into finding easy and short-term answers its own path. Yet friends can and should help one another. The United States will do what we can to assist you in your efforts to improve the economic conditions of your country. Economic development. Democracy frees the spirit of man to achieve, to build, and to create. It's the only system consistent with the decent and humane values at the heart. It's more than a form of government. It's a way of life, an ideal which seems to be a process, yet is an end in itself. It's not the easy. Liberty, authority are not written. They are realized. They are not decreed. They are created. They are made by education. They are not made of 90% of this hemisphere's population lives in democracies or in countries in transition to democracy. This trend, however, is threatened by freedom of speech, religion, and press, actively opposed to the former dictatorship. And the Nicaraguan people are joining the ranks of the freedom fighters. Nearly three times as many men are fighting the communists right now as the Sandinistas had fighting Somoza before. San Martin, a great freedom fighter of his day, once said, in the last corner of the earth that I might find myself, I will be ready to sacrifice my existence for liberty. To, as an elected representative of your people and as a man committed to the political... Mr. President, I wish to begin my statement by expressing my gratitude to you for the warm reception you are granting to the President of all Argentines. For a time, when a real wave of democracy is going to land in Russia. This is our hope for the Senate. The people's respect to the rights essential rights that have always goza el pueblo de los Estados Unidos. Esto es lo que desde Washington en el norte a San Martín en el sur. Y usted también hace económicos so necessary to also achieve social democracy. Es por eso que al lado de la esperanza está también el temor en América Latina. That's why right next to hope, fear, no, amigo. our democracies have inherited very difficult charges in the economic order. Es una deuda que en mi país casi llega a los 50 mil millones de dólares y en América Latina Esta es, señor presidente, sin duda una de las grandes diferencias en nuestros dos países. That, Mr. President, is no doubt one of the big differences between our two countries. Tiene que tener la posibilidad de vivir una vida decorosa y digna. 
he also had to have the possibility of living a dignified life. In our countries, it doesn't reach even the 40 percent. Y pretender de nuestro pueblo en ese sentido y en ese sector un esfuerzo mayor. And to ask from our peoples in that precise sector a bigger effort. Sin duda inmediata sería que los demagogos de siempre buscaran en las fuerzas de las armas satisfacciones que la democracia no ha podido dar. Of course, then we would mean that the demagogues... Palabras de bienvenida. That's why, Mr. President, it's been very important for me to listen to your welcoming remarks. Donde manifiesta la comprensión cabal de nuestros problemas. Because you've shown a deep understanding of our... We need two presidents elected by the rural people in this year. Vamos a dejar sin duda los temas bilaterales y también los que hacen a nuestro continente en sus problemas de paz. I'm convinced that it's through dialogue that we will reach peace. Sobre la base del respeto al principio que hace al derecho con su estudio. I want you all to make me look thin. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 Y
Señor presidente, usted va a pedir más ayuda económica. Nosotros vamos a ir a pedir, ¿verdad, señor presidente? Vamos a ir a conversar. Señor presidente, le molesta a usted. Señor presidente Alfonso, le molesta usted el apoyo norteamericano para la fuerza revolucionaria. Vamos a conversar con el señor presidente acerca de todos estos temas.